The optimal way to install an injection or sampling DBB valve with a support collar is a topic that has always been controversial in the industry. Therefore, let's look at the correct application of the support collar with an injection or sampling DBB valve. What are the purposes of a support collar? First of all, the purpose of adding support collar is to achieve the probe length according to end-user requirement for maximum insertion into the pipeline. In addition, it should be ensured that the unsupported length of the probe is within the tolerance limits of the wake frequency calculation. How to achieve both requirements? To fulfill both purposes, the support collar needs to be fitted tightly within the flange. Any gap between the support collar and the flange wall gives space for vibration of the probe, which could lead to the break of the probe. What is the optimal design of a support collar? From A.S. Schneider, recommendation is to use injection or sampling DBB valves with support collar, which are manufactured in a four-point form. The tolerances of the inner flange diameters are quite large. To ensure that the support collar fits into the flange, it is necessary to machine the support collar to the smallest possible flange bore diameter. However, if the flange bore is now below the upper tolerance, a gap between the support collar and the flange is the result. Thereby, we recommend manufacturing a support collar, which is approximately 1 to 2 millimeters larger than the maximum specified inner flange diameter. On site, the installer will place the injection or sampling DBB valve on top of the flangelette and evenly cut off some material from the four point collar so that the collar achieves the tightest possible fit within the flangelette. There you have the most relevant facts about the proper application of the support collar in use with an injection or sampling DBB valve.